Good morning, family. Good morning, family. This is Camille, owner and recruiter at Rig on Wheels, um, coming to you with a really, really good video. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, this video and this topic is something that I do discuss um, a lot. And because I'm not able to speak to each one of you individually, I was like, let's make a video about this, okay? Um, that's why sharing this video and subscribing to this channel is um, really important. It is drivers under contract, okay? There are several reasons why a driver um, goes under contract. So I'm going to go over one of the I'm going to go over all of the reasons, but I'm going to go over the, the main one first. And that is you're needing a one in a company to send you through school, um, to get your license, train you, and then you get your experience through them. Okay. So when you go to one of the companies and they put you through school and then they train you, and then after that, you're either going to be under contract with them. And I'm going to go over the, the months or the lengths that I typically hear. And that's going to be 6, 9, 10, and 12 months. Okay? During that time, you are going to get some really, really good experience. Okay? Um, and you're going to come out as an experienced driver. Now, with saying that, during those times they're not going to pay you as much as they would if you already had your license and your experience or your license and just your training, okay? The purpose is for you to be able to get your license, get trained, and get experience, great experience, and then for them to be able to recoup um, the monies or investment or resources that they spent during that year or less um, getting you prepared, Okay. You need to decide if you are able to do that. You need to also say, I, I, I'm not in anybody's pocket, but I am adult, just like you are. So you need to be able to say, I need to decrease uh, my bills. Okay. So if you know you're going to be on a roll all of this time and you have an apartment, why we still had that apartment, things like that. You know, why you got Wi-Fi at home and you on the road and nobody else at the house. So stuff like that is things that um, you need to be doing. Also, so that is considered a non-compete clause. So if you are leaving the company before it's over, your your contract is over. You will have some that say, okay, you could just pay to get out of the contract and others that say the way you pay is with your time. So you need to figure out before you sign that contract, you need to figure out which one it is for you. Then another one is going to be a financial contract. It could be one of the instances to be in this particular contract is more or less because you needed to be trained, okay? Not all companies do that. Not all companies will take you as a recent grad, train you and put you under contract and say you have to stay for all that time. But some companies do. With that, some are again saying that when you leave, you just be put on a payment plan. You have to know the difference before you sign. Ask those questions. Ask, how long is my contract for? If I leave before my contract and I know that I still have to pay this off and I know I'm going to be under uh, a payment plan, but does that mean that you're going to release me from that contract so I can go and work for somebody else? Because it doesn't matter if you're on a payment plan and they're still not releasing you because then a lot of the companies still not going to be able to take you. OK, um, then there is another one um, now is if you have a sign on bonus, I out of I, I recruit for over 50 companies. So with saying that I have not yet had a company that I have that have sign on bonuses that actually um, 
with the sign-on bonus that they actually put you under contract. But there are some that do that for whatever reason it is for their company. You need to find out that if you leave before the contract is up, what does that mean? Does that mean that you have to pay the monies back or not? Okay, a lot of the companies that I recruit for, if your sign-on bonus, like for a good number, is five thousand, right? Let's just say your sign-on bonus is five thousand. They're going to pay you that five thousand over a certain length of time. Okay, so you're not going to have to pay it back. However, there are companies that you do have to pay it back. So you need to find out from the beginning whether or not it's something you need to pay back. And if it is something you need to pay back, will they release you from the contract once you're on a payment plan? Or does it all have to be completed? There's not one contract or agreement that's better than the other. Please listen when I say that. You might have companies, and I know that I hear the stories where it's not as pleasant, stories but i know when you leave certain companies okay and you've completed your entire contract you are i know that that means that you have driven in all seasons you've driven in if not all 48 majority of 48 you have really hit the road you are a truck driver okay and you are ready to go at this point but Again, let me say, no contract is better than the other. It depends on you and what works best for you and your family, okay? So let's bring family a little bit into this because I hear this a lot. I need to leave um, because I miss home. Mm -mm. This, this career may not be for you. You know, we're going to miss home, but as adults, you do know that 6, 9, 10, and 12 months go very, very fast. Okay, I went from 25 to 40 and it feels like three years. So it goes very, very fast. Look at 2020 and how fast things went. Look at 2019 and see how fast um, things went. You need to have a plan. If you're living alone and you know you're going to be on the road for three weeks at a time and you have to be under contract for six months, nine months, 10 months, 12 months, it may not be uh, financially responsible for you to keep your apartment. If you own a house, that might be a different story. We might have to go into renting the house out, whatever. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just giving you ideas. So you can go ahead, get trained up, grind, do what it is and sacrifice so then you can reap the benefits after. What you don't want to do is be on that road and you have to think about the stuff that's back home on a regular basis, right? Because things are going to come up that we can't really control. But if you plan for it, then it's more in your control. If you are a guy and you have a girlfriend, a wife, an old lady, a mama that's helping take care of the kids or the house or whatever, you need to have a great understanding and great communication for when certain things arise because you're not going to be there, okay? So your plan as far as being a truck driver needs to be the plan for the family. Same thing as females. If we're going to be, if you are going to be out there on that road, you need to have a game plan for certain things that you know is going to come up. It is just, you know, it's going to come up. So you got to have a game plan that way. When it's stuff that just is a, a surprise, you know, it, it, that's a different story. Um, definitely give me a call. Um, if you are confused on what type of contract you have give me a call i try to see if i can figure it out based on you know what you're telling me and we go from there if you are almost done with your contract we can go from there as well there are a, a couple of companies that i have that will take you if you are under contract but you still have to have some experience okay um and one in two months is not experience so give me a call or text at 
408-787-9064. Also like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the video. Um, if there are other videos and things like that that you all want to talk about, definitely let me know and I'll try to share as much industry knowledge that I have. I've been doing this for 10 years. So I am really trying to share any type of knowledge that I have. Um, again, be safe. God bless. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, the link for applications and how to get in touch with me is going to be in the, the box below. Thanks. Bye-bye.